Hey guys, welcome in the room with John Lewis. Thanks for tuning in. I'm here with my friend, Matthew, a rookie. A bad thing for coming out today. Thank you for having me, I appreciate it. I know, I know you got a lot of projects going on right now. I know you know really. Can you tell us a little bit about those? Uh, right now, I, I started a project here a little over a year ago, actually two projects. Uh, one's called the Real Life Lesson, uh, the other one's called the Core 4 Revolt. So I'll start with Core 4 Revolt. Uh, about a year ago, um, I had realized that I was struggling with, with overcoming fear, uh, overcoming anxiety, uh, overcoming worry, and a lot of different stuff, and it was stopping me from pursuing a lot of opportunities and dreams in my life. Uh, I lived like that for, for several years, so about six years ago, I had uh, encountered, uh, a, a, I want to call maybe a setback in my life. Um, my father was, was in prison for 13 years and I was really struggling with overcoming uh, the fear of the unknown. I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to ride him. I didn't know what it was going to look like to possibly have a relationship with him uh, after he had gotten out of prison, so I just didn't do anything. And I, uh, after a bunch of different stuff, I had written this letter and finally confronted a lot of different issues. So here about a year ago, I started this project called the Core 4 Vault, where um, I, I focused on four different aspects. Uh, fear, worry, confusion, and doubt. Those were the, f the four main things that I wanted to attack. Um, and, you know, it's okay to, to feel fear in your life. It's okay to feel worry, confusion, and doubt. But it's not okay to continually just give in to it and not take action. Right. Uh, so I, I wanted to combat it with with uh, four, four things that, that were also important in my life. You know, freedom, hope, love, and um, forgiveness. And so all those, those four aspects were real important things in my life. You know, freedom from addictions, uh, love for all people, uh, you know, having that forgiveness uh, yeah. in any situation. Because the stuff that my dad did, I, I harbored a lot of anger, a lot of resentment, uh, because it cost us everything in our life. We lost everything. Uh, so, you know, I wanted to, to take it a step further and make, you know, my, my family, and my faith, and my friends a priority in my life because I was living this passive life because of so much fear had taken over me. I didn't do anything. I didn't spend time with my family like I should. Uh, I didn't uh, spend time with my friends. I just let all this stuff just control me and, and consume me because I was always worrying about, you know, what someone's going to think or uh, what... Uh, you know, whatever uh, situation I was in, you know, how that was going to look in my life. I was going to miss out on an opportunity if I did this and if, if I did this. So I just didn't do anything at all. And I was like, this is time to overcome it. Uh, so I, 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 I developed this project around the idea that, you know, no matter what we face in our life, I'm not going to let it stop me. I'm going to face every single thing uh, that causes me fear and worry, confusion, and doubt, and I'm overcome it. You know, that doesn't mean that I'm not going to feel those things while I'm doing it, but it means I'm going to face it. So right. if it makes me feel uncomfortable, I'm going to go after it and do it. Right. And I'm not going to let it stop me. And so I, I came up with this idea that, like, in order for that to make, the, make it happen for me, my faith had to be a priority in my life. Right. Of course, my family had to be a priority of it also, and my friends. So in order to, for that to happen, you know, I needed to take action, you know, get in, get in the Word of God more. Uh, and that's something I'm still improving on, but the fact that I'm still growing. So it doesn't matter how fast I'm growing or how far I have to go. I need to look how far I've come. Yep. And so I decided, you know, I need to have some friends that are surround me that are going to help me do this. Yes. You know, guys that are going to help uh, help me to move forward. They're going to help fight with me, fight against me. You know, when I'm about to do something, do something really stupid, and they're like, yes. hey, guys, you know, Matt, this isn't a really good idea probably shouldn't do this yes. you know or, or what you're doing in your life right now uh, isn't isn't you know building you or it's tearing your family down you need to rethink this or hey what you're doing is a really great idea uh, maybe let's do it this way so whenever you're going through stuff in, in life you know they're there for you to support you help pick you up when you've been knocked down and some of these guys that have been been with me since I was a little little kid right. they've, they've been through the hardest times of my life have been there to support me, been there to be the guys that, that can pick up the phone at 3 a.m. And, and take a phone call and say, hey man, I need you to come over, and they're right there. Right. So, so that's the, the core four revolt in a nutshell. Kind of use that as my motivational speaking platform. Uh, also my own uh, Facebook page, uh, Matthew Lurkey. Uh, and then also my other project, The Real Life Lesson, 
I started this off of the fact that, I mean, I've made a lot of mistakes in my life, but I didn't let that define me for who I was. You know, I wasn't going to let that stop me for who I wanted to become. So what I do is I focus on different people's stories and focus on my stories and stuff that I've been through. And I write about them and, and I, you know, ask the question of what mistake have you made in your life and what, what uh, have you overcome and what do you want to teach other people. So I take different situations, different little chunks. Like, you know, eventually I'll, I'll interview people that have been in prison for life or are in prison for life. And be like, how did you make it through this situation? What are you doing now to change your life? What are you doing to now to change the people's lives around you? How are you accepting this situation for what it is right now? Because you're in this situation for the rest of your life. Right. And it really hits home for the fact that, like, this person may never get out of prison. Right. You know? So, what am I going to do now to change my life in order for it to change other people's lives? You can't change what happened in the past, but you can change what happens in the future because of your positive attitude and the action that you take. Yes. Well, that's awesome, man. I, I can't wait to see all of this dope that you're going to do in the future. I know you're going to do great things. Thank you. We all have, we all have a, a routine. Something we use to get us started in the morning, get us focused in the morning, get us ready for the day. Do you have a routine that you like? Yes, uh, every morning I do uh, self-affirmations. So I have about 140 positive affirmations that you know, uh, that go over the fact, you know, uh, you know, I am, I am beautiful, I am strong, I am enough, I am courageous, I am brilliant, uh, I am bright, uh, I am enough. You know, just through a whole bunch of different stuff, you know, it talks about, you know, what God has done in my life, what he continues to do, just, just different things like that. And then also, you know, I, I do my best, you know, staying in the Word of God, I, that's not a consistent thing for me, I need to, to continually improve, but the fact that I know that I am enough, that I am focusing my time and my energy towards that, even though I may not put as much time as I'd like to in it, uh, I'm still heading in that direction. That's awesome, because I believe however we uh, start our day, however we ground our day, whether it's visualization, prayer, or, uh, you know, a combination of things, I believe that sets the tone for the rest of our day. I know for me, I, I pray and I meditate. And I visualize now want my, the way I want my day to go. Definitely, yeah. Meditation is a huge thing. Prayer is the, uh, even bigger. So, yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Um, I believe that um, growing as a person and as a leader is key to where you want to go in life. What, uh, what way do you choose to grow? Uh, one of the biggest ways is I love investing in people's lives. I love being a part of what they're doing. Uh, I love seeing people be successful and reach their full potential. Uh, so I put myself in situations to where uh, I find people that, that maybe don't believe in themselves and I help them to see that like the talent that they have could make a huge difference. So I'm not necessarily the one that's taking action, it's them, I just help them see that they can do it and overcome anything in their lives. And I also surround myself with people like you that are motivating me to become a better people, a better person. You know, people like Mecca Naka, um, people like J.P. Parnell, that's a part of Oral Roberts University that's a, getting ready to go play professional basketball. I mean, just surrounding myself with these guys that, uh, you know, Tony Williams is another guy uh, I think you might be familiar with, that, that are doing things throughout the community to make a difference. Mm -hmm. And when you surround yourself with people that are positive, that are uplifting, that have a, a positive energy, that's going to help build you up and make a difference. Uh, and my, my job too is another big thing. I love I love just encouraging people, um, asking them how their day is, how their really day is really going. Uh, because when you start diving into asking these hard questions and, and they start an answering honestly, then you start seeing where you can make a difference or where the potential they can make a difference in your life. And, and it helps to, see, helps to show that, that you actually care about someone. Right. That you're not just being a superficial person that is just, you know, just there just to talk and you actually care about, about what they're doing. Right. That's awesome. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Um, I believe that we all have, you know, a purpose, dream, and destiny. That's, uh, that's my message. That's what I travel around to tell people, regardless of our challenges, 
that we all have the right to fulfill it, a life that makes us happy and brings us joy and fulfillment. But with that, we all have to overcome challenges and adversity. And you touched on this a little earlier, but what are the strategies and the coping, coping mechanisms that you find to help you go to the next level in your life? Uh, well, one of my biggest strategies and, and mechanisms that, that I focus on, I focus on that I can. I can overcome anything because what reason, what person other than myself is telling me that I can't? You know, why am I, my, why am I thinking that I can't do something? Have I tried it before? Or is someone else telling me that I can't do it? Have they tried it before and failed? So I, ha I have this mentality that like, I can and I will, I'm going to. I'm not going to stop anything. I'm not going to give up and quit just because it's hard. I'm not going to make a decision to, to stop something just because I'm not feeling good. Um, of course, you know, focusing on friends, surrounding myself, that helps helps me get, get through, through tough times. Um, focusing on seeing where I've come from, where I've been, and seeing that like what I'm currently facing, it's not going to stop me because I've gone through harder things. And of course, my faith in God too has been what's what's helped me to overcome and face any adversity that I face because you know He helped me get through. He provided all my needs necessary to make it through that situation. And I know and trust that I will make it through that, whatever I'm facing at that current time. Right. I, I don't know if you agree with this, but sometimes I find, you know, I tell people, if you want to see your worst enemy, go look in the mirror because we are our worst enemy sometimes because the limits we have are the limits we place on ourselves. That's true. Man, you hit that, you hit that very on point. You can do as much as what you think you can do. If you think you can't, then you're not going to. And if you think you can, then you're going to find a way. I, or an excuse. Yeah, I I agree with that. It's all, it's all up to you. It's a, you can only go as high as your belief system. And we all have stories that we tell ourselves in our dialogue, the reasons why we can't do something the reasons why we shouldn't, or the reasons why we don't think we should. But in, re in reality, that's not our reality, because our reality is created from the inside out. That's true, that's true. So, okay, um, fast forward to the end of your life. You're going towards the end of your life, and um, you, you can leave one, you can leave one piece of advice to the people you love. What, what would that be? How do you want to be remembered after it's all over with for you? Yeah, some good questions. Uh, one piece of advice. Don't give up just because it's hard. Don't give up just because it makes you sad or upset. Don't just make an assumption that you know what the other person is, is thinking or feeling. Go to that person, actually talk to them, and get, get the real reason. And if it's something that's that, that hurts you, look into yourself and, and see, maybe is it something that I need to change? Or is it something that, that's in their life? And just let go of it. Let go of, of the um, belief system that you have that I can't do enough, that, that I, I won't ever do enough, or the fact that like, what they've been through in their life determines what I can go through in my life. And uh, I, as a person that I want to be remembered as, is as someone that loved people and that gave it all, all he had to, to make a difference. Because I don't want it to be about me, I want it to be about other people and of course about God and um, the difference that he's made in my life. And through that, being a tool that is used to make a difference in other people's lives. That's awesome. Well, Thank you for uh, being a strong influence and mentor in my life. Thank you for spending the time with me today. Guys, you should go check out Matthew Loki stuff. Check it out on Facebook. Check out the Corporate Revolt and his other projects. Thank you for watching. God bless. Have a great day.